Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler. Today we are playing uh, Stormworks Build and Rescue, and today this video is, um, I should say, um, C Lab. <laughs> it's a C Lab episode where we're trying stuff, and the introduction is that I have this uh, crane, this sky crane uh, helicopter. And, uh, and the design of this um, helicopter is based on a, on a real-life um, Sikorsky helicopter. And the idea of this design is to be modular. So you, you see that it has all this space underneath the, the rotor where you can attach different modules and this is how it's used in real life so there are like firefighter modules there are like these crane modules uh, I don't know like this medical um, treatment unit module and this sort of stuff uh, but here I was trying to have um, have it uh, modular in that in the sense that uh, you could attach different modules to it and I place um, a hinge connector here and uh, power connectors electric connectors back there and I place some radio um, antennas to control the whatever uh, module you place there so every module will have like um as we say in software development some api like uh, some interface let's say uh, to interact so that the uh, that the cockpit controls can interact with the module in a standard and dynamic way and here is what I have currently. Now it's, uh, it's a little bit unbalanced, so I have to bring it back. So this is the helicopter here. I uh, spawn it, drive it out of the hangar, and uh, Subsequently, I will spawn what I created, uh, the module to be attached. Uh, by the way, I have to activate, let's activate the connectors and put the brakes. This is um, necessary. We put the brakes, we activate the connectors, and now we spawn spawning the module to be attached currently i have only one module and this is the crane module so let's do that well it's the hauling yes so this is what i made and you see that is done in such a way that um you would spawn this vehicle that has the module um, attached to it and you would just drive the this vehicle underneath the helicopter and attach the module a uh, relatively simple process now let's do that so uh, I didn't show you that uh, above I have like this connector hinge connector and the um, electric connector so this will fit exactly or precisely into the the connectors of the helicopter so we drive underneath the helicopter and soon we will have the the first thing to be coupled is the there we go the the electric connectors and if i turn on the connector here then it's done and 
I will detach now the the vehicle and just drive it away and that's it it I also placed additionally uh, pistons but at the end I don't it seems that I don't need them but anyways we're done and you see that we have relatively easily uh, attach this crane uh, module here and this crane module is uh, autonomous mostly in the sense that it has its own power it has its own um, microcontrollers yeah, and it has uh, antennas to communicate with the helicopter um, cockpit controls and it takes power through the connectors that's uh, in that sense it's uh, depending on the power of the of the helicopter but uh, to recharge but in any other way is autonomous so now you see that uh, we have attached we can now start the engine let's put it in hover auto hover now i will show you what's the problem with this approach Well, one thing is it adds weight, extra weight because of this modular design, but this could be potentially fixed by creating, um, because of course it, it adds those, all these extra structural blocks that otherwise if you build it, if you build uh, the winches into the, the helicopter itself, you wouldn't need so many structural blocks but in principle this could be um, worked around by creating a, a hole into the helicopter where th all these structural things will fit um, but that's not the main problem the main problem I will show you is that this um, Now we let's let's go to the um, to the nuclear reactor. And as we go to the nuclear reactor, we are we are going away from the vehicle that um, had the, the 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 module, right? this little um how would how would we call it this small um this small vehicle that w which with which we attach the the module and this is a problem and you will you will i will explain it in a minute so as we go to as we go away of the of the base and of this vehicle so you see that the that the module is still there right it will happen as soon as we get closer to the there something happened and what happened is that we lost we lost the the module as you can see it's just gone and i don't know if you heard the sound when it when it went off and at the beginning i was thinking oh this is because uh, i don't know the connector ran out of battery and uh, there was a disconnection but no i placed um 
after this happened I placed uh, this um, dial to show what was the battery charge and this was not the problem so the problem is the distance from the vehicle that we spawned to attach the module and the reason is that the module and this vehicle are uh, regarded by the game as the same vehicle and what happens is that once we attach the module and drift away from the vehicle um, there's some distance at which this is what I am assuming the vehicle despawns because we are f far away from it and for you know optimization reasons the game just despawned these vehicles because uh, they would otherwise consume uh, resources so when when the vehicle is despawned so is the the module that is attached to a helicopter so this approach doesn't work so currently I'm working on a different approach um, but it's not for me it's not like um, well I, I was what I was hoping for is that you would uh, use this helicopter or you would have the different modules in in the bases right and you will just come with a with a helicopter and use uh, any of these vehicles to um, attach new modules to it to take out previous modules and um, attach new ones depending on the mission but this is not working and it seems that the way this would work is that every time you have a new mission you will come to your base and basically send your helicopter to the to the hangar and change the vehicle itself either we have the different presets of the helicopter like different vehicles like they there would be a sky crane um firefighter sky crane there would be a a hauling sky crane uh, that has these cranes uh, these winches these four winches to transport stuff or um there would be a way to somehow attach these things uh, easily when you're here uh, i will explain what that would mean imagine that we are that we are going in into a hauling mission right and we have all our helicopter in the workbench and here there's the option you go to the selection grid and you can bring in components and then you say okay I will have the crane module and you see here that it's um, that is added to the to in the in the in the work um, in the workbench and then you just um, attach it like this right something like this this doesn't work currently because it's um, I have connectors here and you can see that there's an issue these connectors won't attach in the in the workbench so this doesn't work also the the electric connectors um, but it could be a simple well, I can change this um, here just to show you I could just uh, delete the these things here and now I can just move this here and I can further change it at this point I will just uh, paste it right I will go out of this mode and I and then I can merge them I can merge this vehicle to the module and that's it now it's part of the same vehicle 
Now what we um, would do is just to... There are two things that uh, needs to... to be done. One is to... Well, we don't need this connector anymore. Even I could get rid of all these structural blocks here. I don't really need them. At least these ones. Um, the others are currently as as the vehicle as the module is um, uh, designed. I have to keep these ones here, but this could change. I'm I, I was working on another on another version of this module that is uh, better. So. Uh, removing extra weight is is, is always good. Uh, the other thing that would need to happen is that we need to connect the power. So now these uh, these connectors are useless. So we can just remove them. Uh, there's no need for them. So, uh, and next we will have to just um, connect the, the power. So these things are not needed. We can just remove them. There we go. Um, okay. Yeah. And next we will have to just connect the power. Power from one of those batteries would be enough. Or, for, or even from the generator, just connect directly the generator there. And there, I, this would just work fine. Um, so the advantage of having like still this antenna stuff is that it, it would be easy for us to create new modules and attach them. Um, without worrying to make the the data connections, I don't have the data connections are um, more complicated, right? And uh, I will just have to worry about one single electric connection that would be uh, to the to the battery of the module, whatever it is. So now we can just um, spawn it, right? There we are. Okay, so you see that it's part of the vehicle. Oh, and we lost, yes, we lost uh, some connection here. Uh, this is uh, a problem. Ah, yes, because we removed we remove the um, the connector and this was um, this was used but that's just doing this and that's it okay but we wouldn't have that connector i think in the in the final version so there we are so we can just let's let's test Let's test something here. Ah, I have to remove that vehicle from there. Um, but I wanted to show that the um, that these controls work with a, with a module without having any data connection, and this is because we have this antenna. I think I would I would make a, a separate video about how to make these radio controls. It's um, really interesting, and. Um, you see here that I activated the uh, uh, port um, connectors and I can also lower the winches so it's working fine without me having to um, 
to make any data connection. It's really st straightforward once you import the the module and attach it. Uh, it's straightforward. You you don't you, you only have to make this electric connection to the battery. That's it. And the advantage of having this battery and autonomously making all the electric connection means that you only have to make this uh, electric connection to the battery and then the battery from the module has all the electrical wiring and you don't have to do uh, that wiring yourself so let's take this thing out of the way kind, I'm kind of sad that I cannot use this cool um, vehicle <laughs> to to attach modules I currently and uh, the, the term for this type of vehicle is um, escaping my mind it's like this type of uh, vehicle that you will find in these warehouses right to haul um, stuff around okay I think we can make a short test now uh, going to the nuclear power plant I'm testing that um, everything was fine are we at this? yes we are at a safe distance so I don't know what what would be best probably at the end what i will do is just to create different helicopters with different configurations so what you will do is just um, go to the workbench and uh, load the particular helicopter you need for your mission and maybe I will have a version of the of the sky crane that doesn't have any um, any configuration, a specific configuration, so that you could just create your own configurations with it. I don't know. Let let me know what you think in the comments. This is an interesting topic, but it seems like the, the workbench is the place uh, to do this, to attach these modules. It's not, it doesn't seem like you would, uh, maybe there are some instances where you can attach modules with a helicopter or outside of the workbench, but I guess that these would be like bigger modules, not this uh, winch four winch uh, uh, module that we currently have is I think it's too small uh, for to attach it uh, outside of the workbench I don't think it's worth it to, to it's too complicated to do it otherwise because of course you would have to spawn only this module uh, without the, the vehicle to attach it and then you will have to uh, find a way to get this module into the vehicle um, so that the vehicle that attaches the module is independent of the module itself but I think this is too complicated I currently I I cannot imagine people doing this so there we are uh, we still have the module right so the problem is that the module was part of another vehicle and this vehicle we left behind and it despawns I think that's what happened okay so I think we will leave it here um, let me know what you think in the comments below uh, hope to see you in the next video and this is Cyber Settler signing off